A brutal murder was captured on camera by a resident of Parkville Apartment Complex in Baltimore County, Maryland. 27-year-old Shakia Allen can be seen running away from a man thought to be her ex-boyfriend. She tells the man that she has a restraining order against him and then starts screaming as he continues to chase her through the parking lot. I have a restraining order on you. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. That's why she reported you. Eventually, the man catches up to Shakia, tripping her, which causes the woman filming to yell out and threaten to call the police. Sadly, the police would arrive much too late as in the next few seconds, the attacker would pull out a gun and fire multiple shots from close range, killing Shakia instantly. Guys, it is 6.02 a.m. Friday, February 22nd. Linda Michelita Rogers woke up just after 6 a.m. on February 22nd, 2018. She was excited to document her day in preparation for a national cheerleading event. The 12 year old talks about doing her hair and other things she needs to do to get ready. I went ahead and connected my straightener and I still have to connect the curling iron. And um, I already got halfway started doing the braid. And um, what's left to do is the ponytail. Straighten it, curl it, poof it, whatever, so, yeah. But then, while making a time lapse for her viewers, an explosion rocks the house and the screen goes black. Tragically, Linda would never make it to her event as she was killed in a gas explosion. Baby, so boy, father. Andrea Maziero and Sarah Brigante took a video of their hike in Italy. Little did they know, it would be their last taken together. Moments after the video ended, Mazzetto went to retrieve his bone from a nearby cliff's edge. <laughs> However, he lost his footing and fell 330 feet to his death. This is 22-year-old Lindsay Partridge enjoying a boat trip with her boyfriend. The two were on a romantic getaway in Florida, but it was about to be tragically cut short. Minutes after this video was taken, Lindsay fell from the boat and lost her life. In April 2021, Kevin Lomas was found stabbed to death in the bedroom of his home in the West Midlands of England. Three years later, his killer is yet to be found. Police recently released the CCTV footage that shows Kevin's last known movements. He can be seen walking the streets near his home in the days before the murder. The video was released in the hopes that it may jog people's memory and encourage anyone with information to come forward. Here's hoping that Kevin can finally get some justice soon. When diver Richel Oha found an old GoPro at the bottom of a lake in Tennessee, he soon realized that what he had found was more than just a camera. Somehow, the memory card was still intact after two years. 
Upon checking its contents, it contained the final moments of 22-year-old Richard Ragland. <coughs> At first, Ragland can be seen enjoying a day of adventure, ziplining, and visiting a waterfall with friends. Unfortunately, that very same day on which the footage was taken, he would also drown and be declared dead. We live in life! We live in life! Rich Aloha said he was looking for a treasure in the lake, but had received a tip from a park ranger saying that if he found a GoPro from 2017 with footage of an African American on it, it probably belonged to Ragland. Aloha reached out to Ragland's family who were stunned to learn about the discovery. I don't think there's ever been a more impactful find, said the diver. This is Ahana Semsonova. She was a Russian influence who often posted on social media promoting vegan, raw food diets under the alias Zahana Diart. She was extremely strict and boasted about having consumed nothing but fruits, sunflower seed sprouts, fruit smoothies, and juices. In 2023, during a tour of Southeast Asia, Zahana tried subsisting exclusively on a diet of exotic fruit. However, this would fail to provide her body with all the nutrients she needed. Despite seeking medical attention, at the age of 39, Zahana passed away with many of her friends believing her so-called healthy food choices were to blame for her death. Zahana's videos now stand as a startling reminder of the benefits of a well-rounded diet. Shocking home surveillance footage from March 2024 revealed the terrifying moments in which a grandmother was forced to defend herself and protect her four-year-old granddaughter from a home invader. You're back! You're back! I have a gun! You're back! You're back! 911 emergency. Because the guy came into my home and fired in my car. Please help me. Joseph Rivera, age 32, was captured on camera entering the home in New Mexico after crashing a stolen vehicle nearby. He demanded car keys from the panicked grandmother who complied with his request before retreating to a bedroom, arming herself and locking the door. Get back! I will f What did you do? I will get you water, but keep you when Rivera returned demanding more keys, the homeowner shot Rivera a single time. She can be heard in a panicked state offering Rivera some water but threatening to shoot him again if he hurts her. She also apologizes while waiting for the police. Surprisingly, Rivera survived and was arrested while passed out. He faces charges of burglary, attempted felony, and receiving slash transferring a stolen motor vehicle. When 23-year-old Sandra Birchmore failed to show up for work on consecutive days in February 2021, her employer asked the police to perform a welfare check at her home in Canton, Massachusetts. Upon entering her residence, officers found Birchmore, who was three months pregnant at the time, dead. She appeared to have taken her own life, but subsequent investigations suggest that there may have been foul play. The CCTV footage shows Ms. Birchmore leaving and entering her apartment building during her final days, followed shortly after by a man believed to be Matthew Farrell. Farrell was a police officer who is alleged to have carried on an inappropriate affair with Birchmore, starting when she was just 15 years old. Farrell resigned from the force in 2022, and many suspect he played a key role in the death of Sandra and the unborn baby that was likely his. Hot. In 
In March 2016, an unidentified man from Chicago was shot 16 times while live streaming on Facebook. Less than three months after, 28-year-old Antonio Perkins, seen here, suffered a similar fate. At the start of the video, the Chicago native can be seen drinking what he claims to be water while standing on the street, talking with friends and looking around. Then, around the 1 minute 16 seconds mark, a series of gunshots ring out. Perkins' phone tumbles through blood-stained grass and is picked up briefly before being dropped again and the screen goes black. Screams are heard in the background and several people shout for someone to call the police. Antonio Perkins had been shot in the head and neck and would not survive the ordeal. His final stream remains on Facebook and has been viewed hundreds of thousands of times. <laughs> We've already seen how dangerous base jumping can be, and this next video serves as a chilling reminder. 28-year-old Armin Schmeider was an experienced skydiver from Italy. In 2016, he livestreamed a wingsuit flight, telling viewers, Today you fly with me, before leaping off a mountain in the Swiss Alps. So... Heute fliegst du mal mit. Aber ihr hört nur was. Ich stecke euch ein. Not much can be seen, but shortly after takeoff, it becomes apparent that Schmeider is encountering problems. He can be heard letting out a final shout before impacting the ground. nothing but the eerie sound of cowbells for several minutes. Viewers watching the live stream reacted with horror as some sent messages begging for Schmeider to write or say something. Tragically, his response would never come. Armin's body was recovered near Kandersteg, a popular base jumping location. His friend said that although he was an experienced skydiver, Schmeider had only flew for a year using the wingsuit. An altercation over a parking spot turned deadly in 2018, as 48-year-old Michael Dreyaka shot and killed 28-year-old Marquise McLaughton. CCTV from a nearby convenience store captured the events, showing that Dreyaka had been pushed to the ground moments before pulling out his gun and shooting McLaughton in the chest. Marquise McLaughton hadn't walked up to him the way he did and slammed him on the ground, we wouldn't be here having this discussion either. The case became a major news story when it was suggested that the killer might walk free, benefiting from Florida's Stand Your Ground law. It was argued that the shooter may have acted in self-defense, though McLaughlin's family and others who encountered the shooter strongly believed otherwise. The defendant can use the fact that the victim started to walk away as evidence that the shooter was not in imminent harm. In the end, the judge sided with the victim, and in 2019, Dreyaka was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Staying in Florida, another family became caught up in a shooting that could have ended far worse. A man was watching TV with his 10-year-old son and 4-year-old daughter when a career criminal attempted to enter their home. Thankfully, 
The door was locked and a police officer arrived quickly on the scene to deal with the threat. Cameras inside and outside the residence captured the moments before the attempted home invasion, as well as the shocking conclusion. As the suspect fails to gain entry, he picks up a brick and starts charging towards the policeman. Meanwhile, the father opens the door to the house to see what's going on and that's when the officer shoots the suspect. The father quickly shuts the door and tells his children to go to the bedroom. Thankfully, they didn't see what was going on outside. Even after being shot, the suspect charged the officer once more and was shot three more times before collapsing on the family's lawn. Who knows what could have happened if the career criminal had managed to get inside the house and thank heavens that he didn't. This is the moment when joy turned to tragedy for Steven Weber and his partner, Kenesha and Twine. The couple had been staying at a luxury floating hotel in Pimba Island, Tanzania, in 2019 when Steven decided to propose in a unique way. He swam down to the outside of their underwater hotel room and held a note against the glass that read, I can't hold my breath long enough to tell you everything I love about you, but everything I love about you, I love more every day. Will you please be my wife? Marry me. Sadly, Stephen would never resurface to hear Kanisha's response, with the State Department confirming that a U.S. tourist had died at that location. Afterwards, Kanisha posted her heartbreaking reply on Facebook saying, A million times, yes, I will marry you. She acknowledged that they never got to celebrate the beginning of the rest of their lives together, but took solace in the fact that they enjoyed the most amazing experiences with excitement and their final moments together. This home surveillance footage shows the last time Bradley Lyons would go to work and return home. It also shows a vigilante group arriving at his address, abducting the father of eight and driving away before killing him at a secondary location. Lyons was wrongly accused by his wife of carrying out sexual acts with her daughters. She enlisted the help of Nick Stefani and gang leader Albert Thorne to capture and torture her husband in a sickening ordeal. According to reports, Mr. Lyons was trapped in the car boot for up to 21 hours in the hot summer sun. He was then tortured with various tools including a chainsaw at a farm in Victoria, Australia, before being shot in the back of the head. Only 93% of Mr. Lyons' skeleton was recovered, with both feet, bones from his hands, and a neck bone missing. The wife was sentenced to seven and a half years in jail, while Albert Thorne, who fired the fatal shot, received a life sentence for abduction and murder. A ring doorbell captured 16-year-old Brianna Gare leaving her home on the 11th of February, 2023, and making her way to Coolcheth Lanier Park in Warrington, England. Sadly, she would never return home, as she was brutally attacked by two teenagers who had plotted her murder. Scarlett Jenkinson and Eddie Ratcliffe, also 16 years old, were found guilty of luring Brianna to the park and stabbing her 28 times before being interrupted by another couple walking their dog. The killers, who are believed to be transphobic, 
were sentenced to 22 and 20 years in prison, respectively. Gaynor Lord, a mother of three from Norwich, England, went missing after leaving work early on the 8th of December, 2023. Surveillance footage captured her walking through city streets in the early afternoon with the last sighting at 4.01 p.m. After that time, she was not seen alive again. Tragically, the 55-year-old's body would be retrieved from the River Winsome a week later, with her mysterious cause of death later listed as immersion and drowning. On June 27, 2023, five people, including two 15-year-olds, were killed in a crash that happened on the 710 freeway in Long Beach, California. Dashcam footage from another vehicle captured the moment when the 2011 Honda Sonata impacted a barrier head-on. The car was immediately engulfed in flames and footage of the aftermath shows the devastating extent of the damage. Police say that seatbelts may not have been used as some of the passengers were ejected from the vehicle. The last we know, the exact cause of the crash is still undetermined. Are you taking any type of medication at all? No. Are you supposed to take medication? Okay. okay. You don't want to hurt yourself, do you? Oh, you don't want to hurt anybody else? You don't want to commit suicide or anything like that, right? Okay. Nassim Nayafi Agdam was an Iranian-American woman who wounded three people at the headquarters of YouTube in San Bruno, California, before fatally shooting herself. Reports suggested that Agdam was upset with YouTube's policies and changes to its platform, which she believed negatively impacted her channel's visibility and monetization. It was speculated that this frustration may have motivated her to carry out the shooting as a form of retaliation against the company. Police body cam footage revealed that they had spoken to Agdam just hours before the attack while she was sleeping in a Mountain View parking lot, about 30 miles southeast of YouTube headquarters. So all we're going to do, we just had to make sure that you were okay. So we're gonna, we have to call your dad. We're just going to let him know that you're fine and you wish not to be contacted. And we checked your well. Well, we have to tell them, we have to say, we have to tell them that we found you, right? Um, but, I mean, legally we have to do that. We have to say, well, we found her. Um, she is fine. She left home because she doesn't want to be there anymore and <clears throat> she doesn't want to be contacted. Officers say they did not notice any signs of disturbing behavior and that at no point during the 20 minute encounter did the woman say anything about her plans to do harm to herself or others. She was calm and cooperative, they said. What do you think? These images were taken just hours before Kaylee Jade Priest, a three-year-old girl, was found beaten to death at her home in Soho, England. The footage from August 2020 shows Kaylee Jade leaving and entering the apartment building with her mother. Sadly, it would be the last time she did so alive. That evening, after putting Kaylee Jade to bed, her mother was having sex with her then-lover when the young girl began to cry. Her cries disturbed them to the point where the couple grew angry and took out their frustrations by savagely beating the little girl. Kaylee Jadie's injuries were likened to those of a child struck by a car at 40 miles per hour and she sadly passed away overnight. The mother, Nicola Priest, and her lover, Kaylin Redfern, were jailed for 15 and 14 years respectively. May Kaylee Jadie rest in peace.